Thanksgiving is almost here, and while some of us are focused on preparing the meal, others are already thinking about the leftovers. But safety first, right? KLTV7's Lauren Tier has more tonight on how you can avoid foodborne illnesses this Thanksgiving. During the holidays, we do see an uprise in a lot of the uh, foodborne illnesses, just because at home, there's no one really there making sure that everyone is done correctly. So how can you oversee food safety for your family and friends this Turkey Day? Registered sanitarian and health inspector Jonathan Barena says there are steps to food safety when it comes to prepping, cooking, and eating. Let's start with the bird. There's a lot of bacteria or pathogens that grow within any uh, raw produce, such as turkey. Turkey. We're talking about salmonella. When it comes to the turkey, there are several ways to thaw it. The best practice is to put it in the refrigerator on the bottom shelf a few days ahead of cooking, depending on the turkey size. According to the CDC, you should allow about 24 hours of thawing for every four to five pounds of turkey. For some, the sides are the star of the feast. When it comes to cooking practices, the FDA recommends red meats be cooked to an internal temperature of 145 degrees, ground meat to 160, ham to 140, and poultry and casseroles to 165. Always avoiding the danger zone. Between 41 degrees to 135 degrees. After two hours at room temp, Barena says dishes should be refrigerated, frozen, or thrown away. I love leftovers. Who doesn't like leftovers? It's a holiday meal. Reheating them to 165 will kill any harmful bacteria. Most leftovers will last three to four days in the fridge. Gravy, however, only lasts one to two days. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. So eat the gravy sooner rather than later. Before and after you end up handling any food, make sure you wash your hands and also clean any surfaces like countertops that come into contact with the food.